Hey guys, welcome back to Quad View. We're bringing you guys live coverage from the Epic 8 Call of Duty 4 tournament sponsored by Thermaltake Esports. And uh, we're going to be watching one of the bigger group games right now. It is going to be Exabyte versus Team ESPC, a team all the way from Finland. And uh, Exabyte, well, a mix of very, very, very well-known players. Going to be jumping right into the matchup now. It is the knife round already. And uh, I'm going to start actually with the roster rundown because I have to mention the Exabyte guys, for the people that don't know them, it's a mix of Ono from... Uh, the Western Wolves, we've got Fan or Fantasy in there. Uh, a couple of guys on the right. Uh, sorry, Lighters and Raz from Fnatic, and then GSX, of course, also just a very well known player. And then for the ESPC side, we do have Replan, Sluix, Fake, Napaski, and Saruz. And uh, I have been told that Sluix, or as I would pronounce it, Sluix, is probably incorrect, but I've also been told it's pronounced Snorlax, which also, which also say is incorrect. So I'll stick with Sluix for now. Either way, this is the last round being played today, this Friday here at Epic 8. And uh, if you guys want, you guys can go check that out. If you go and check up on the uh, Epic 8 website there under the tournaments, you guys can go check out the groups. Also, there's updates on Tech 9. They're being done by Peter and the rest of the guys over there at Tech 9. So big ups to Tech 9 for being out here with the coverage and actually competing. And uh, So here we go, live first map. On back lot, loser will be deciding the second map, but it's a best of three, so let's check out some awesome action. And of course, we have to go where with the scopes. Honor's not going to be on scope, it is back lot for the first map. Uh, so, they, you know, Honor might not favor a scope on this map, or at least on the start here. But replay on the other hand, on the attacking side with scope, not going to be seeing too much action now. Actually, flicks it over to an AK, so just using that scope to get some travel distance out of it. And now. It is already quickly, both teams diminished heavily as we now want a two on three. Raz and Fan versus Luix, Replan, Napaski. What is Fan doing? He's sweating it out in this bottom mid shop at the moment, or bottom mid area. Raz is in that A side. Has actually got an SMG alongside him. Alongside the AK, he is carrying, has spotted one towards back A, takes out Napaski. Goes again for another bomb plant, smoke goes up front A. Courtesy of Fan, the replant takes out Raz, though, he tries to go for the bomb plant. Fan taking out replant, going to be moving into this bomb site. It is Sluix versus Fan, or Fantasy. And Fantasy playing this one really smart, baiting out Sluix with that bomb fake. Takes out Sluix from the front. And that's going to be the first run going towards Exabyte, really taking a calm after being a couple men down so early on. And uh, we've actually do see now that replant is not going to be taking scope at all. Got nothing on there. Oh, got no scopes here on this map. Gonna let's actually flick over here to Raz, who has rushed into this A side. Gonna be going all the way to top A. The pass getting replanned, both grabbing frags. Fantasy once again on top of his game as he grabs another two frags. So Ruse grabbing himself one, two. Oh, sorry. Ruse going down to Raz's SMG. Two on two right now. And it seems that last round, if we go by what happened last round, and this is where the Exabyte guys excel when it's that slow play picking. Raz drops down using that silent drop to get to bottom eight. He is now two versus two. He's moving up. He has actually got a player that just went off to his right hand side. Might actually be doing the same drop as him. Spots Napaski, but Napaski quicker on that AK. Lands the first couple of rounds. And now we do see Lighters all the way over onto that ruined side. Has got a player here off to his turn, off to his right side. but. Not gonna spot that. Will he be turning right? No, he won't. Fake grabs the frag. And that's gonna be Lighters going down 1 1. As you can see on the right hand side of your screen there, it is actually Lighters, I believe, sitting there. Now, moving away. Let's take it away with fa with fan with Fantasy. So we're seeing Fan. You get so confused. And it looks like it might be a little bit more of a quicker B push. Raz takes out Slux. Fan going through mid house. Fake takes out Raz. Fantasy takes a bullet to the chest and survives, rushing it off. We'll take out Saruz. Saruz goes for that, that wrap around the back, and Fake takes out Lighters and Fantasy. That really has slowed down Team Exabyte quite a bit. Ono sitting back all the way in this MG house. What can he do? He spots one on that turn side. Not going to be taking any shots. Oddly enough, though, GSX does go down. Now his aim is trained on the top of that ruin side. Watch that scope running out. He really is not taking the shot unless he clearly knows that it's going to be a kill. And he spot that player towards bottom eight. Has the player spotted him? He takes out fake, drops down. He 
knows that scope is still up towards top ruins. Oh, Replant has actually fallen all the way back and dropped out. Oh, dropped out of that ruins area. Oh, no, along that fence, there is one just in front of him. He's not going to be looking that way. These two are right above each other. Napaski, look up. Ono, oh, look down. Are you kidding me? Ono drops down, finally moves towards JCB. Napaski kind of turning around, scratching his head, going, what is going on here? And Replant just watching towards his back. And watching towards their spawn side as Ono does finally push through. Spray going through the wall. Can he land anything? No, he can't. Time's running out for Honor. He needs to make a move now. He literally only has 10 seconds. Takes out Replan. Napaski just needs to run. He doesn't need to do anything. He's not going to be spraying through this wall, even though he knows he could kill Honor. And then, when Honor finally does expose himself, will be taking the last couple of shots, finishing his Honor off. And DMSBC grab that first round. For the people that are wondering, LGT stands for Logitech. I can't say I'm 100% sure what the ED stands for, though. That's a... To ESPC, very well renowned. Now Ras taking out replan as he pushes towards this A side. Napaski in with the nade as he takes out Ono. And Team ESPC cleaning up right now as they've only lost one player and taken out three from Exabyte. Really making Exabyte work for those rounds. And again, we just see Team ESPC just cleaning up right now. I mean, uh, you can't say much more when. When you, when you start off a round and the next thing you know, Exabyte is reduced down to three members. And looking over the scoreboards, GSX and Lighters yet to get frags. Fan, Raz and Honor though, each trying their best. Well, Team ESPC, well, they're just pretty much living up to the, the usual standard right now. We'll see Raz once again fighting it out in this A side. Will grab himself a, grab himself a frag there onto Saru's. Honor actually has heard one moving into that MG house. He's going to be hugging this wall to make sure that doesn't get shot in the back. Or is he? Replan really could pick up a frag. He actually spotted there. Ono in his sight. Ono's just walking down the street and re there Replan finally turns. Misses the shot there onto Ono. Ono's squeezing out of that one. Finally gets shot down there by Replan in the back. Man, Replan open his eyes a little bit more. Have a look around there. And uh Moving now on here into the sixth round already. As it is 4 1, three round advantage in favor of Team ESPC. Really coming out strong right now. Raz, once again on this A side, just playing so well. Grabs himself the opening frag. Going back to mid, laying down some covering fire. There's one top 10. Spots him just too late. Sluix and Fake both grab frags. As Fake tries to fall back, Ono from top ruins finishes him off though. Three on three. As GSX, there you go, finally getting himself into the game, grabs himself two frags, replan onto Ono, scope on scope, but without any scopes. And now GSX took his first two kills this round. Can he close it off by getting that one versus two? He has replan dropped down to the replan, quicker on the trigger, will kill off GSX, and that's going to make a four round difference. 5 1 in favor of e Team SBC. Now let's take it over to Saruz, let's see what he's up to. Actually, if Replan is going for this mid-push with scope, definitely want to see this one out. See if he can grab himself a couple of frags. Look to the link, does spot a player just behind that wall. Will he grab the frag? Yes, he does. Honor goes down. Now he's going to be falling back. His job is done. And it looks like... It looks like fan, Fantasy once again just trying to hold this mid-area. Really isn't being allowed to be aggressive on either of those sites. Playing that supportive... Or a, a slightly supportive role as an SMG, which is interesting to see, and it seems to be working out well from so far. Napaski takes out GSX. Fantasy in a one versus four. Takes out Saruz. Spots one top A. Grabs that one too. Pulls out the Deagle. He's got one off to his right hand side. Can he land the frag? Gets heavily tagged up. Going to be falling back. It is replan. Replan is running away for his life. Spray coming through the wall from Fake. That's going to close off Fantasy and take it to 6 1. Really brilliant player from um, Team ESPC. And might just want to point out that Lighters has got a bond. That, that is not something you see every day. So, yeah, Lighters on bond right now. Really needs to start picking it up for his team. So, Ruse does get taken out by Fantasy. On onto Sluix. Raz once again. And could we see a second round here for Team Exabyte? Randolph looking off to his left, but Napaski sitting in a very peculiar position, really holding it back and didn't really push out all that much. Replant takes out Ono. Raz 
grabbing himself an AK there as he now knows where that last player is. Where is Napaski? There he is. As that AK moving towards Gerdes, pushes up. Raz finishes him off, and that's going to be a second round here from Team Exabyte. As uh, really are working hard for it, and they just need to start closing off this round. Raz and Fantasy both on 10 frags at this point in time. Really good stuff there from them. Sluix takes out Exabyte, Saru's on to Raz. The nades raining in from above, and it seems that Exabyte caught as many as they could. Fake moving into the slower mid area. He's got one coming off to his left hand side. Honor goes down. GSX and Lightning, the last two standing. Napaska making a meal of GSX right there, making it look so simple. Your last man standing is Lighters, and he's going to be chasing it into A. He's got that bomb, but he's got players all around him. Replan jumps in with an eagle, finishes him off, and that's going to take it to 7 2. And we really are blistering through these rounds right now. Really are just flying through them. Let's have a look here. Let's see what. Where is Mr. Sluix? There we go. Gonna take that AK. I wanna see what he's up to with that golden AK. See the damage he's been doing. Does spot a player in that mid house. Can he get the frag? No, Light is actually a little bit quicker on that one. Fake in a better position though. Has a whole heap of sand laying down some cover for him. Fake with a second one as he takes out Raz. Three on three. Rebound getting heavily tagged up. Fantasy again in that mid house with that SMG. Spraying down does hurt Fake, but Fake's going to regen that health and walk away unscathed in the end. On it, taking out Replant. Fan once again chasing off the Fake. Can he finally close off this frag? He wants to go towards top A if he wants to get the person on Girders. Well, actually, repeating it from the door, I don't think that was the best decision. And as you can see there, he does go down. And that'll be 2 8 in favor of Team ESPC. Fake currently on 13 frags. Let's uh, drop it away here with, where it is, there we go, there's Lighters. Let's see what he's up to. The pass kill to Raz, opening nade. Team, team ESPC really have those strat nades down though. Of course you can't expect the exact same kind of thing from a team that hasn't really been playing together all that long. Sluix takes out Lighters, 2-9 is your score. And Team ESPC only have, w or there is only one more run in the half. And they're l definitely looking to take it to 9-3. Then again, with Fantasy's, well, what it looks like, very defensive SMG style of play, we might uh, we might that might see that benefit them a lot more. Replan opening us up here with two frags though, and he's sitting all the way on front A. Sluix onto Ono, flicking between his Deagle and his Scope. And at the moment, it just seems like Team SPC are running around. Saru's onto Raz. Lionters is your last man standing. He's going to be taken out before I can flick over. And 10-2 is your halftime score. And not too much coming out there from the Exabyte guys. As they're quickly going to be readying up so we can get... That's probably the quickest ready up we've had in quite some time. Either way. Where is... Where is the scopes? There we go. Replan's got scope. Now, on a still no scope from him. Which I find very odd. I'm pretty sure... Oh, I, I thought he might have picked it up on the defensive side. Um, or... I've just been missing him so much that I've not actually seen him take scope for that while or for that long on back lot. Either way, on on to Ceres as Team ESPC not looking so strong this round. GSX gets flashed as Replan then pushes up with his Deagle. Can Replan grab another moment? Oh, his movement really is quite something as he flies over here towards Laundry. On is going to pick him off in the end though, and Raz is going to grab that final closing frag for Team Exabyte, and that's going to put them 10 3. So we have a quick look over at the score, but GSX seems to be struggling a little bit. Let's actually give him a little watch and see what he's up to. Flash going out, nades going out from GSX. He's going to be taking the mid route. Oh, he's going to be holding it back. Once again, the nades really on form here from Team ESPC. So Roos takes out Raz, two versus five. And this is 20 seconds into the match. This is just phenomenal play from Team ESPC. Cleans up Exabyte. And 11-3 is your current scoreline. And I can't say I thought it was going to be this much of a, a one-sided battle. Let's take it away here with Fantasy. See what he's up to as he pushes towards this A side. We saw him with his rather defensive SMG play in that mid-building. Let's see what he's doing with it on the defending side. There's a player above him. Here's that player drop down. He's going to be falling that to his teammate. Lights are grabbing two frags. They're fake and Sluix both dropping. 
Fan not pushing out. Feels comfortable within the confines of the day building. Takes out Replan. And flicks back to his SMG. Looks like he just wants to see if he can grab another frag here towards the front A side. There's two players left towards the tank area. Grabs the frag onto Saru. He's coming around the corner. There is one more left for him. Does grab the last one there onto Napaski. Hat trick for him that round. Really well played there from, from Fantasy. Can't expect much less from him though. And let's take it away here with Honor. See what he's up to. Still has that AK in hand. And I would love to see him try out some scope action with it. And moving forward. See him jumping forward, going towards that top ruin side. Fan and lighters open up. Saruz and Replan both drop. Sluix onto Fantasy. GSX replying. As we don't even see the kills, but only the players dropping. Only Sluix and Napaski remaining. Honor's got one walking right below him. He spots Napaski, tags him up heavily. Lighters finishes him off. Honor's got to be careful though, as Sluix is just off to his left hand side, actually right behind him. Honor could be knifed at any moment. No, it doesn't do so. Sluix rather playing a save and grabbing that frag. He is in a one versus three right now. If we can flick over to him, does have that AK with him. There's a couple of shots there onto Raz, and we do see Light is actually coming in for some support. GSX is still over towards that A site. Sluix needs to go back to pick up this bomb. Moving towards lower mid house. He does spot GSX, tags him up, bullets flying through on turn. But unfortunate for him, nothing connects. Kills off Raz as Raz comes down from Rat Hole. Not much combo coming out from GSX. Light is coming in from behind though. GSX drops Sluix, one versus one. Light is in front of him. Can he land the frag? Gets tagged up heavily. 50 seconds left on the clock. Light is with the Deagle through the wall into the head. Really nice way to end off that round and bring it back for his team. That takes it to 11-5. And it seems Exabyte are now on a mission to deny Team ESPC this round. Or well, this map even. Fantasy pushing up. Is it going to be jumping over? No, he's going to be watching that fence for a moment. And uh, then waits for the rat hole push. Does take out Sluix. Falls back. Watching that mid house window instead. His teammates grabbing frags of their own. Lights just takes out two before being finished off himself. Now fake and replant. Where are they? Fake on mid roof. A good vantage point. But you do stand out pretty much like a sore thumb. Does drop down. Doesn't fall to his death. Although Fan takes out replant. And now fake is the only one left for his team. Needs to move in towards that bomb. It doesn't seem like he's scared of anyone from top ruins. Feeling pretty confident that that is clear. Now making his way in towards back A. There is no one in on that bomb site, but as soon as that sound goes down, no doubt some action is going to be coming from this area. Back A lighting up as bullets fly through those fence. Fake heavily flashed. Bomb gets planted. No doubt he'll be killed here any second. There's no way he can get out of this one without being killed. He grabs the first one, but Ono there with the revenge frag. And the defense is going to be coming in from Raz. And we will be seeing Eggs by taking it to 11-6, really bringing this one back right now. Explosive Strong stuff from them. As you can see there on your camera, bottom right hand corner, it is Team ESPC and their orange shirts looking great. But now, back into the match, replan with a fast spawn. He's actually going to be taking bomb and taking the scope. Curious to see what he's going to be doing with it though. Replan pushing forward. Fake takes out Raz. Replan carries on pushing. There's no stopping him right now. It seems replaying going for a jump past that doorway, jumping behind the wall. A very interesting way for the force that had extra wall will give you some cover, and he doesn't fall too far down as there is another wall for him to drop onto. Fake taking out Fan. On and Light has lost his standing for Exabyte. Could this put it onto the match point for Team ESPC? On and to Fake, fighting back. So Ruz is just scanning around that top A area, wants to clean it up, make sure everything there is clear. So Ruse going to be dropping down into that lower basement area in that A site. Fake goes down. So Ruse coming up the stairs. Ono drops. Light is your last man standing. And what is Saruz's plan? Is he going to go for the peak? Yes, he is. The whole bunch of bullets flying through the wall. Lands 
quite a few onto lighters. And that's going to mean 12 6, six rounds here now for Team ESPC as they are on map point pretty much. It is the best of three, so they have still got quite a bit of time to. Uh, Oh, they have still got quite a few rounds to play with if they do not pick up this next round. But I'm pretty sure they want to clear this off as soon as they can. Let's flick it over here with Raz. Sorry, with Fan for a moment. And as he does move towards this A side. There are two players there. Right now, Team ESPC are actually quite split between mid and two on that A side. One uh, all the way over on B. Light is slowly moving forward. He hears gunfire going out. His teammates are dropping. He needs to do something about it. Clearing out ruins. Now Raz takes out Saruz. Slewix back onto Raz. Light is your last man standing. He's top ruins once more. The position he was last round. And with the bomb down, Light is going to have to pull something exceptional out here. As he watches, watches onto that wall and does actually auto climb. And that's going to be the end of the first round there. Or well, the first map, 13 6 in favor of Team ESPC. We will be moving on to the second map that will be. No. Where we're going to be seeing uh, should be Team Exabyte that are choosing the, ne the next map. Either way, guys, that was the third map now finishing off for Team ESPC taking a 13-6. We will be back with more map two action right uh, right after this bit. But please stay tuned as uh, we take a quick break.